Function notation. Today's goal is to solve equations giving solve equations written in function notation. Any function that can be written as an equation in two variables can be written in function notation. An equation in two variables, such as y equals 3x minus 2, can be written as f of x equals 3x minus 2. We do this because y is a function of x. This means the value of y depends on the value of x. f is just the name of the function, and we could call it g of x, h of x, etc. Thus, for the function g of x equals negative 2x plus y, we could write it as an equation as y equals negative 2x plus 5. Write the function f of x equals negative 5x plus 11 as an equation in two variables. We need to remember that f of x is just a name for that function. f of x equals negative 5x plus 11 just means that y is dependent on x, and so we can replace the name f of x with the variable y and we have y equals negative 5x plus 11. We can go in the opposite order, or sorry, I guess this one is the same order. It says write the equation h of x equals 3x minus 2 as an equation in two variables. So one variable in our equation is x. h of x is just the name of that equation. And so we can replace h of x with the variable y, and we have y equals 3x minus 2. For the function f of x equals negative 3x plus 2, asks us to determine f of negative 6. What this means is, is to find the value of the function when x is negative 6. So to find the value of the function when x is negative 6, what we are going to do is we're going to substitute in negative 6 into this equation for x. So this is going to be negative 3 times, instead of x, we're putting in negative 6 plus 2. So f of x equals negative 6, sorry, f of x at negative 6 means that I need to simplify this equation. Negative 3 times negative 6 is 18 plus 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. Another type of question that we can have is we can be asked to determine x when f of x equals negative 10. So that means that that whole function is equal to negative 10. In this case, when we're given our function, If f of x equals negative 10, what we're going to do is we're going to replace f of x, which is the function, with negative 10. And we end up with, then, negative 10 has to equal negative 3x plus 2. This is now a linear equation that we need to solve. To solve the linear equation, we need to get variables on one side and numbers on the other. So we're going to start by subtracting 2 from both sides. Negative 10 subtract 2 is negative 12 equals, on the other side we're left with negative 3x. To get the x by itself we're going to divide both sides by negative 3 and we end up with 4 equals x. Another way of saying this is that when x is 4 our function will have a value of negative 10. Let's look at a word equation. The equation v equals negative 0.08d plus 50 represents the volume, v liters, of gas remaining in a vehicle's tank after traveling d kilometers. The gas tank is not refilled until it's empty. So part a asks you to describe the function. So for describing the function, we can describe it to say that tells us that the volume of gas is dependent on 
the distance traveled. We're then asked to write that equation in function form. So here's our equation. We're going to call this function v of d. And the reason that we do that is because then that name tells us that the volume is dependent on the distance traveled. So v of d equals negative 0.08d plus 50. There's our equation in function form. Part B asks us to determine the value of v of 600. So let's do that part first. If we're doing v of 600, that means that x has to be 600, and we're looking for the volume. So the volume, when x is 600, will be equal to, we're going to take that equation, and instead of, sorry, I shouldn't have an x there, I should have a d. Instead of a d in our equation, we're going to put in 600. So everything has stayed the same as in our function, except instead of d, we've substituted in a value of 600. Simplifying, negative 0 0.08 times 600 is negative 48 plus 50 gives us a value of 2 liters. So what does this represent? This means that after traveling 600 kilometers, we would have 2 liters of gas left in our tank. Now, the question also asks us, does V of 600 represent a range value or a domain value? So this answer that we found, because we're dealing with volume, means that we would be finding a range value. Part C. Determine the value of D when V of D equals 26. What does this number represent? So if V of D equals 26, that means that this 26 represents the volume. So let's find D. Our equation was, in function notation, that V of D equals negative 0 0.08 times D plus 50. This time we're told that our volume is 26, so we're going to replace V of D with 26. And we have 26 equals negative 0 0.08 times D plus 50. And we're trying to solve for D. Next step, to get D by itself, we need to move this 50 to the other side. So we're going to subtract 50 from both sides gives us negative 24 equals negative 0 0.08 times d. Divide by negative 0 0.08 to get d by itself. Gives us 300 equals d. This 300 is a distance, so it means that we have th traveled 300 kilometers traveled when there was 26 liters left in the tank. One last set of examples to look at. Given the graph below, can we find the value of f of 1? So remember that this means to find the value of the function when x is 1. So if x equals 1, we want to find f or y. So on our graph, we want to go over to where x is equal to 1. We want to read up on our graph and then across to the y-axis. And looking at the graph, we can find that f of 1 or y will be equal to 4. The next question asks us to determine x when the value of our function is 1. 
So this means that if y is equal to 1, what is x? So in this question, we're going to go up on the y-axis to 1, read across until we hit our graph, and then down to find our x value. So then we can see that x is equal to positive 2.